everybody I talk to, they're so <laughs> jealous of this trip that we were able to take. So, uh, yeah, no, it's definitely cool, if, if you can put it that way, to come and be able to experience Israel this way. Hollywood in Jerusalem, we're here at the Inbal Hotel in Jerusalem with a few uh, famous uh, Hollywood stars from uh, TV and movies. Uh, they're here in Israel as part of a special project of Voices in Israel. Uh, they bring uh, Hollywood stars. We've uh, seen uh, some of these groups throughout the years, and they're here to teach them and let them uh, feel and understand what Israel is all about and of course uh, go back to their places where they have of course much influence and tell the true story of the land of Israel, the state of Israel and the people of Israel. It's my first time in Israel and for me it's pretty incredible that, that I, I had no idea that Israel is the second uh, basically the Silicon Valley in Israel for high tech and yet you have, there's, it's unparalleled obviously for all the history and the sites, and we're still discovering, a couple of years ago, discovering the, the tunnels underneath the wall. Um, I have an app I created called Yauza, and so I'm, I'm tapped into the high-tech stuff, but just to see the two worlds, it, it, that's something that most people don't realize, you know, how cutting edge. And then, all, it doesn't matter what religion you are, you come to Israel, you're gonna find history that'll blow you away. Um, everywhere we go, it, you know, we end each day saying, that was the most incredible day we've ever had. So, it's been quite a trip. You're going to go back and you feel like you can share this uh, experience with others? That's what you want to do? Uh, yes. I mean, I, I want to let people know that traveling here is safe. It's wonderful. The people are incredible. And uh, y y y it's a history lesson you can't get any other way by just by coming and experiencing and going around. And you, and you can't do it in a week. We've had an insane schedule. and There's still so much more that I want to see. I'm going to come back with my family. I have three boys. When you live in our part of the world, you're inundated by media that only shows certain things and I can't wait to go home and show my family all my photos of all the fun things we did and all the great people we met and um, it's just it's we don't we don't see that we don't see you know people floating in the Dead Sea or you know us taking people taking Jeep you know going out in the Jeep in the Golan Heights and you know we were like standing up in a Jeep with the wind blowing through our hair yeah, and screaming incredible. and you know, you don't see that in the United States when the news reports about this part of the world. What I found interesting about this place is that it's such a small country. It's a small but beautiful country. I mean, the the the, the sights we've seen, the people we've seen, uh, it's beautiful. The people are beautiful. The places are beautiful. I mean, hell, if my family and friends weren't in California, I'd start a religion and come over here. <laughs> try to, you know, grab some of the land. Being Jewish, it definitely has a connection. I want to bring my son back. He's studying for his bar mitzvah, and I'd love to have, uh, a, you know, a small bar mitzvah for him at the at the wall for sure, if we can do it, um, just because I saw how special it was. I have a lot of people follow me on Twitter, and I've been sending out tweets about how beautiful it is and pictures and everything, and I've definitely been getting backlash. And uh, But they're few and far between, and these are, they're, they're crazy people. <laughs> And so, you know, with uh, four followers on Twitter. And so, you know, the, the overall majority have been, I went to Israel and it was so beautiful and I'm, my friends want to go. I mean, I, literally thousands of responses, all positive. And then, you know, the occasional uh, crazy person. Uh, a, a major special event that I had was, was on the, the Friday, which is the, the evening of the Sabbath. And everyone goes to the wall and dances. And we were with, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 soldiers. And everyone dancing, and, and men that I've never met, and put their arms around me, and we're all dancing and singing. And so, feeling like you're part of, a, of one thing. It was a little uh, odd dancing around. There. Everybody has an automatic weapon strapped to their back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, that was, I slipped on a bullet. I was like, wait a minute, whose is this? <laughs> whose is this? It's incredible. And I, and I told them, <laughs> they, they really are a hero. What message would you give to the Israeli public? To the Israeli public? Thank you so much for being so, so uh, wonderful to us. And I don't think it's because we're on TV. I got to be honest. Um, we stopped at a gas station, and the woman behind the counter was so sweet, thanking. Th thank you so much. Everybody realizes how important it is for us, for people to come to Israel and see that it's, it's an incredible place, and it's, it, it's a place that everyone should visit, that they should do commerce, you know, here. Um, you know, a lot of television shows are coming from Israel and, and being repurposed in the States and vice versa. Um, so there's an incredibly uh, creative community here. We were in Starot. There's rock, you know, a lot of music in Starot. And um, it's just, it's, uh, again, surprises around every turn from what you expected to see. 
when a minister or a prime minister or an ambassador says something, it's like not of any particular interest. It's an official position. But when your friend, uh, to say nothing about people who have thousands and dozens and thousands and not the hundreds of thousands of followers on Facebook and Twitter or whatever, when they talk about their experiences in Israel, it's like ultimate truth. And even when they share their experience about, about some attacking them or saying that it was not nice of them to go to Israel, still it's a small minority. And I think that the, when they honestly share their, their first-hand impressions of this country, this is a, a, the best image of Israel we can take out of this country and show to the world. There are many programs like this but I've never seen one that um, they are, they take such care in bringing a younger generation and then clergy, the most important clergy in the, in the United States here. And it's just, they are, I encourage everyone to go to America's Voices for, uh, in Israel and, and check out what they do and support them because it's, it's really a great program and it's so needed because if, if there's going to be change, it's going to be through the generations and we shouldn't wait for three generations. Let's, let's make it happen now.